All right, so what is good everybody on YouTube? This is of course your boy B Bullet RC coming to you guys again with yet her the video and yes you read the title right today We are back with another episode of unboxing a ton of dope ish And as you guys can see in the back We do have a big stack of clothes as well as two boxes now the big bottom box was a gift The top one is an early pickup and on the right side is just a ton of the most recent pickups We got vintage human made new sample drop on the way Stussy uh, what else uh, ABC advisor board crystals born and raised and adidas as well as puma so we have eight different brands represented and i guess if you count the vintage all the different brands in there it's a ton more so let me just try to grab the stack y'all know i always like to at least try but they slick kind of heavy and not balanced but we gonna at least try it one eternity later all right so listen this has taken me just to figure this out a good good 10 minutes so as y'all can see yes we have a good amount of stuff to talk about as you can also see i need to invest in some type of table because stacking the yeezy boxes up to hold up more boxes it's just not that efficient like i said we got a lot of dope ish to get into let's get into it all right, so let's go ahead and hop into the hall. I also want to remind you guys, as always, when I do these videos, man, if you see anything that you like, I try to link it down below in the description to make it easier on you to find it. Unless it's sold out or I don't have the info, the info will be down below. First things first, though, you already know the deal, man. You guys see the hoodie creeping in the back. New sample industries drop. This one's going to be coming out on October 5th. This Saturday at 8 p.m. EST. Now, if you're watching this before the fact, well, you're a little bit early. You got a reminder. If you're watching this after the fact, you might want to go and check for the hoodie. Now, let's go ahead and get into them. First off, we got three colors. Black, red, and white, which is in the back. Navy blue, yellow, and white. And then we have this burgundy, kind of slate blue and golden color. Now, I'm pretty sure I should have some B-roll rolling right now. So, let's go into some of the details about the hoodie. Now, first off, construction. It's a 350 GSM brushed terry cotton on this one so it is very very cozy this is definitely one to keep away from your girl because if she gets her hands on it you may or may not ever see it again now on the front you have the eye with the sample and all three colorways and as you guys switch to the back you have the we're always watching right there as well if you guys do a little zoom and get in some details on the tags you guys can see it says sample mine's a double xl because i feel like as far as fitting goes if you wear a xl to a triple x i would say size up in the hoodies small through a large stick to your true size no problem but on the back of the tags you got that same eye you guys know we always do custom tagging when it comes to sample drops and this one one is no different like I said October 5th 8 p.m. EST three new hoodies all dropping at 60 bucks and listen if you just need a quick reminder for the drop follow at smplind whether that's on Twitter or Instagram and we will be tweeting out and posting when the new drop goes live tomorrow or today or a week ago or whenever you're watching this video now the next hoodie we have is actually from advisory board crystals now I've never copped anything from them before I've known about the brand for a little while now I remember somebody hit me on I IG kind of telling me about them seeing the brand popping up here and there and I wanted to actually try it out for myself and just see what the quality was like the stuff that they were making seemed unique enough so I wanted to go ahead and spend the money and try it out for myself now this is the planet saving information hoodie and basically like a teal colorway and the reason is called all of that and you guys actually see me wearing this in my latest heater hype video now I really wish I could have got this one in an XL I have to get it in a double X because everything else sold out very very quickly and then the XL sold out because I was just kind of sitting on my cart so i had to go with a double xl and it fits me a little big now the thing is that they advertise it as you pay 225 dollars for this uh information zine and you get the hoodie for free but let's keep it a buck you're spending 225 on the hoodie and you still get this cool zine as well it's actually a lot of good messaging behind this release and now as you guys can see the hoodie itself it's really really dope it's i mean as far as quality goes it's nice and heavy definitely definitely warm had the fan blasting when i was doing my heater height wearing this thing but one thing i do like about and i'm going to just say abc from now on instead of the full name is some of the detail some of the print and some of the different things that they do with their pieces now this is an all over like i said kind of teal greenish color you got the contrast and stitching all around the hoodie as well and the graphics are a very very heavy print kind of reminds me of something like cpfm some of that puff print coming in on some parts of the hoodie as well on the sleeve you have a little bit of that puff print you can just see how heavy 
the printing is and the quality of the printing from the b-roll now if you go ahead and flip this one to the back it does say support the future of our crystals advisory board crystals as well and this multicolored kind of like world graphic on the back another little detail i don't think i call in the b-roll though too is that they have like clear little eyelets or rings right here where the uh drawstrings come through that's a nice little detail touch as well but that is the abc planet saving information hoodie for those who are wondering, that's where I got it from. Now for the first of the vintage pickups from this video, I gotta say shouts out to the homies over at Locker Room VA. It's a new spot if you're local on the 757. Make sure to just follow them on IG. You can always contact them through text and they have a lot more stuff for you guys to see. A lot of stuff that they haven't even posted yet. So if you dig vintage stuff, hey, maybe check the homies out. The link will be down below. But I did pick up a couple things from them. First off, I'm gonna start with these hats because I mean, in my opinion, these hats are fire. We have two brand new what are these logo seven yes logo seven vintage snapbacks now the first one right here is in atlanta braves i love this hat because it's kind of like that eggnog color it's not a pure white anymore because it's so old big atlanta a braves on the front braves atlanta on the back just a brand new clean vintage snapback and another one we got right here is an atlanta hawk snapback once again that same kind of all over eggshell cream color got the atlanta hawks logos all over this one as well and this one was brand new so i went ahead and cop those two hats i guess my favorite would be that braves one i guess the a just looks really really good on that hat now the one shirt that i don't have b-roll for in this whole video is this harley t now this one does fit me big it is a vintage double xl so it is a big wide shirt but it's a harley t and if need be i can probably just wash and dry it it's not gonna shrink it but so much it's an all-over navy blue but it's been washed out kind of reminds me of an aqua 8 colorway tie-dye in the middle and this one is actually from athens georgia now the year this shirt is from is actually 2001 so this shirt right here is 18 years old that's the third pickup and then the fourth and final pickup is this all over print dale earnhardt joint um i do have some b-roll from this one of course it is very very loud it's very very out there you have dale earnhardt you actually have the car where the back of the car is represented on the back of the shirt and it's kind of like a a bust through type t i'm not sure the exact name but you guys get what i'm saying all right so next up we actually got a few pickups from the homies over at Preve. got some stuff from born and raised as well as chinatown market so let's go ahead hop into it and this one right here is the fangoria t now on the front you guys can see the bxr for born and raised got the metal teeth i just love the colors in metal when it's printed the blues that orange the white the black just some good colors coming across and then towards the back you see born and raised again it's the same exact logo just a lot bigger on the back once again the fangoria t born and raised fits true to size some good good colors on this one next up on the right shoulder we have the yeezy alumni joint now this one is from from Chinatown Market. I'm not sure if they posted this one yet. Uh, they may or may not have. But if you look closer on the front, you can kind of see everyone that has been kind of somewhat tied to Kanye Yeezy, name dropped by him over the years. And you got people like Just Don, Jerry Lorenzo, Ivan Jasper, Heron Preston. Everybody is represented on the front. Now, this is on a champion hoodie, one of their lightweight, thin champion hoodies. And obviously, it's styled like an old vintage basketball team tee. So, Blam, Yeezy alumni joint, and that one's from Chinatown Market. Now, the last two tees we also have are from Born and Raised. Now, I believe this one is called the Tie Dye Rocker Tee. It's a pink and green tie dye all over the front and of course all over the back and then you have born and raised and uh once again just the colors on this uh print blues pinks greens you guys know i like my colors and um this one is definitely right up my alley and then we go ahead and hop into the last t which is called the cybernetic gang task force t i'm not exactly sure if they're inspired by a little b task force but I'd like to think they were. Now there is no pink on this one, but you do have BXR systems. Got the Terminator endoskeleton holding the human skull, born X-rays, and once again, cybernetic gang task force on the bottom. This one is very nice, clean, simple, all over black, lime green or neon green, and all that stuff is available over at Preve. So shouts out to them. But we got more stuff to get into. And before we hop into the big boxes in the back, we do have these right here. Now, some of these are from eBay. Some are from Cream as well as Commonwealth. So just a kind of collection of some of the things that I copped over last week. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with the vintage pickups from eBay. Now, I did pick up two more hats. I just had this thing where I went on eBay and added a whole bunch of stuff to my watch list. Just a lot of fire vintage stuff that I kind of like. And if I want to, I can just always go back to that list and cop up some different things if I want to. Both of these are 
brand new hockey hats. Now this one is for the St. Louis Blues and I just really, really love their color combo. The blue, red, yellow, and white is a very, very nice color combo and don't be surprised if you see something similar to this drop from sample in the future because I definitely have to use this color blocking somehow. But that was the first hat and then we also had this one right here. Now this is a Tampa Bay Lightning hat, TBLH for Tampa Bay Lightning Hockey. This one is again that kind of cream all over color. This one is an all over woolen one and it's just a lot of different logos and different things. This is another brand new hat. The tag is on the inside. On the back you have the Tampa Bay Lightning logo as well right over the snap. So just two dope hats. If you want dope vintage hats, a lot of times you can go on eBay, search up the team you like and find some hats for what I think is a very good price. I mean these two hats probably got for $20 or below. Another vintage eBay come up, I believe that this one was $25. This is a brand new t-shirt from, I want to say this one's from 1990. Yes, NHL 1990. So this shirt is four years older than me. This is a 20, what, 29 year old t-shirt. This t-shirt existed before I was born and now I own it, almost 30 years later. Now this is a vintage all over Salem Sportswear LA Kings hockey tee. This was brand new, sealed in the package for 25. And if it wasn't exactly 25, it was below 30, which is a steal in my opinion. Now I don't believe he had any XLs left, so I did have to go with a double X. So it is a little bit of a big shirt, but the graphic was so clean, the price Price was so good I just really couldn't beat it now we'll say one thing about this tea is that if you do decide to go cop it I would recommend dry cleaning it do not put this t-shirt in the wash and then put it in the dryer pro tip as I always say avoid the dryer if you can if it's a t-shirt that you like wash it on cold hang dry that's with anything that you don't want to shrink or mess up regardless y'all seen all that those are the ebay pickups and now we have some of the other stuff from cream as well as commonwealth so we got four tees right here the first one is from commonwealth now this is just a stussy tee i need some more new white t-shirts so i went ahead and copped this one it's just your regular old stussy eight ball tee on the front white black and yellow i didn't want anything too loud and then on the back you have the pink and yellow Cobras on the back coming out of the eight ball Stussy, you know, classic Stussy stuff. Now I also went ahead and copped three human made t-shirts and I will say something about human made, it is Japanese, you know, made. So I automatically go with the double X or if for anyone, always size up in human made in my opinion. Now I got three new tees. Uh, I'm not sure the exact name on them. I just know that I like them. I walked in the store and I went ahead and copped them. First up, you have this one right here. Uh, one thing I will say about human made, which makes me just really love the tees is the quality. I'm not sure what exact type of cotton they're using and I don't want to Google it right now because I'm tired of Googling t-shirt names at the moment but the quality of these t-shirts is it's just nice man it's very very nice tees this one right here i just really really dig the colors on this one so i grabbed it i like the color so much on that one that I went ahead and grabbed the all black or kind of like that charcoal colorway as well. So those are two of the human made tees. There's no B-roll from this one because it's the exact same as the white tee. And of course we have the curry up restaurant joint as well. I've actually wanted this one for a while. I believe when I originally went in and tried to get this t-shirt, uh, they didn't have my size. Maybe they restocked a few sizes. Now they did have those uh, Muay Thai and if I'm saying that wrong, forgive me. They did have those shorts and both like that red and that blue color and um, I almost copped them I almost copped them but since I was already getting three tees the price of the shorts was the total price of the three tees themselves and uh, you know I wasn't trying to spend 600 you know right then and there so I left the shorts in the store now with all the clothing all the clothes not the way all that good shit let's go ahead and get to these two boxes first things first we're gonna get into this box right here and I did have to pop it open for the thumbnail so I know what's inside of it well, I kind of bought them, so I already knew what was inside in the first place. But this right here is a new early pickup. These are actually going to be dropping tomorrow. I've actually had them for a few days. I just didn't have um, the video for them. And of course, you guys can see right here the hue on the top of the box. Pharrell Williams and Adidas, the hue NMD. What pair of NMDs could be dropping? What did we just show two seconds ago? Slight bars. Yes, I did go ahead and secure the human made NMD. Now, if you're wondering if I'm gonna be copying the tennis shoe or the solar glide hue, 
I'm not because in my opinion this one is definitely the best out of the pack. There's nothing wrong with those other shoes, but um I, I got I got these. Now as far as the shoe goes, they're very simple. You know, kind of like the shirts in a way. It's an all over white base. Of course, you have the human made embroidered in right on top of the toe. If you know, you know. Slight bars once again. And um, one thing that they did switch up other than just the human made being on the toe is that the human made logo is actually at the back of the shoe. This was a collab between Pharrell and Nego. So you have Nego's logo with human made and the Pharrell Williams logo back there. Any of those tees I just copped with these right here, some blue denim, maybe a flannel, it's easy. That's a very easy fall fit right there. So with the early pickup out of the way, let's go ahead and hop into this big gift box. Now inside this big box, this was actually a gift box from Puma and they sent me a lot of stuff. Recently they had that Helly Hansen collab and they basically just laced me up with the, you know, the whole cozy fit as you guys can see in here. Now I'm gonna pull out my favorite thing first and it's definitely the puffer. Obviously you got the heli right there, Puma logos all over, white, orange, and black. Now this side, you know, that side's cool, but if you wanna get a little bit wild or a little bit crazier, you also have this side. Now I don't have any B-roll of this guy right here, but I mean, y'all already know the deal. I appreciate Puma keeping me very warm, very puffy in the fall and winter, and uh, yeah, you guys can see the Puma and heli joint. Now because I'm being lazy, I'm not gonna take this jacket off for the rest of the video, they also included this sneaker right here. Now this is called the Puma Trail Fox. You guys can see that same kind of detailing going right here. If I'm being 100% honest, not my favorite Puma shoe, definitely at all. But they did include a card in here as well. So once again, shouts out to Puma. Definitely a bigger fan of the jacket than the shoe itself. And then the last thing they included in the box, in case I just wanted to get 100% cozy, is the Heli Hansen and Puma T right here, all over black, very, very cozy Puma T, as well as the Heli Hansen and Puma sweatpants. So for the cozy days, uh, I got a whole fit. Whether it's snows, sleets, whatever, I'm good to go. But with that being said, man, that is it. Much love to all the fam, followers, and of course supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Snapchat. The Snapchat is bull.cb, by the way. Here, there, blah, 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 of course. Don't worry, don't worry, they ain't far. I ain't put them far away. Bullet RC and I'ma see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed the video and make sure to drop a like on this bit. It don't cost nothing. It's free 99. Be looking out for a new video very, very soon, if not tomorrow, the day after. And I will make sure to be on time this week on Sunday for the heater hype. But until next time, man, I will see you guys later. Much love as always. Y'all be easy. I'm out of here, man. Peace. I come in here like one two. My money went from green to blue, yeah, yeah. You niggas waste, yeah, waste, man. Party, yeah, on my face, your shit ray bands, yeah. Do this shit with no management.